What up, friendos? Welcome back. We've got a, a golden video and scenario here. Uh, you might have seen this already. I'm a, I'm a few weeks late, I believe. But Colorado pastor admits taking $1.3 million in crypto scheme that targeted Christian community. I've got the press release here, and what they're accusing him of is misuse of funds, uh, basically running a cryptocurrency scam. And as far as I understand it, this is only a civil matter, which is weird to me. Uh, I, I don't really know why that's the case. If you think you can civilly sue somebody for defrauding people of $3.4 million with a cryptocurrency scam, why wouldn't you also criminally charge them and, and put this guy in prison for scamming people? But either way, this dude seems to not be very clever because after he was charged in this, he decided to, to go and post the video talking about it. And this is the video, 4 minutes 45. And according to the headline here, the title of this video, quote, the Lord told me to do it. So I figured, you know, I'm not doing anything else right now. Why not watch this video together and, and find out what, what the Lord told him to do exactly and, and see how that measures up with what you're allowed to do and, and what's going to happen in court. So here we go. So this update is to... Oh, it's very quiet. Can I turn this up? Really just take some things head on. I'm not reading from a script and I didn't prepare any notes like I normally do. <laughs> and I was... Good start. Good start. This is what every lawyer ever will tell you. When you get accused of stealing, you know, millions of dollars from people in cryptocurrency or doing any form of crime or, or defrauding people, just load up, just fire up a live stream real quick and just talk about it off the cuff uh, without running anything by a lawyer. This is a fucking golden strategy. Let's, let's see how this one works out. I was asking the Lord what he wanted me to say, and he said, just let me speak Jesus, to take you. the wheel. So let me just come out first and foremost. Uh, so this dude's going to show up in court, apparently, and, and they're going to be like, are you, uh, you know, where's your lawyer? And he's going to go, Jesus, Jesus is my lawyer. Uh, uh, he's representing me. Here he is. You know, he's, he's told me what to say. First and foremost, by saying that Caitlin and I are being charged in a civil charge, uh, from the Colorado Securities and Exchange Commission for basically yeah. selling millions of dollars worth of cryptocurrency that is deemed worthless by the state. Now, the <laughs> if this is... I don't think they're charging him for that. I think that's probably a misrepresentation. They're probably charging you due to the fraud committed. If selling cryptocurrency that's worthless was something you could be sued for, man... There's, there's a lot of people about to be charged in, in the cryptocurrency world. I mean, there has been a lot being charged, but usually, um, you know, by federal means and, and going to prison for doing the crimes. But obviously, most of the cryptocurrency is worthless. Um, I guess worth is determined, obviously, if you're going to do that one. Worth's determined based on if people are going to pay for it. But a lot of these meme coins and shit man it, other than people trying to like pump it up and hope it goes to be like oh it's a no d new do dogecoin or whatever they all eventually end up worthless the reason that they're seeing that it's worthless is because there is no exit for people who have bought so everyone that's watching this who has put money into this who wanted to take money out you've been unable to do that <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay off to a good start this is this is great. Oh, man. It's the way he's saying it as if this is out of his control or whatever. Like, oh, I made the cryptocurrency. You gave me the money. You wanted to take the money back. You've been unable to. Bro, you you took the money. What, what do you mean? You can just give people the money, right? It's weird, man. Weird. We launched an exchange, the exchange technology failed, things went downhill, and from that point forward, we've just been we just been waiting on the Lord literally for a miracle. <laughs> oh fuck off, mate. Oh my god. What do you what was he writing the fucking code, was he? was the Lord writing the code? We what do you mean? You've been waiting for a, a is he going to come down and fucking, you know, write some Python or something? What? <laughs> you could... 
surely there's nobody's falling for this right uh, oh you know you you will get your money back we're just waiting for the lord to bring us a miracle you you can you you have the money don't you so the charges are that caitlin and i pocketed 1.3 million dollars and i just want to come out and say that those uh charges are true so there's <laughs> <laughs> what oh um, my it, lawyers hate this one simple trick just admit to just admit to defrauding just just go on video and just admit to it they they allege that we took 1.3 mil and you know what we fucking did yeah we we absolutely did there's been 1.3 million dollars that's been taken out of i think it was a total of 3.4 million but out of that 1.3, half a million dollars went to the IRS and a few hundred thousand dollars went to a home remodel that the Lord told us to do. And so I don't want to <laughs> no, try fuck. to mince words. Fuck off. <laughs> no, the, no, he, no, he didn't, did he? Oh, your, your fucking kitchen's looking a bit old, mate. Uh, if, why don't you just take a couple hundred grand off your, off your, you know, the people that invested in your cryptocurrency project and, and remodel your house? <laughs> You just, you can't make this shit up. I, I don't think I've ever seen, man, this is, this is so fucking, this is parody. I obviously knew cryptocurrency was always going to be a, a well of, of content, um, just because of how stupid people are and how stupid some of these investment schemes and frauds are. But I didn't have it on my, my bingo list. Um, Pasta convinces a bunch of religious people to, put money into a cryptocurrency and then gets charged and records a YouTube video like, yeah, you know, the Lord told me to steal your money and use it to beef up my fucking house. Man, holy shit, this is a, this is a good one. I'm, I'm glad I woke up for this one. To try to escape and, but I want to... Wait, what was that? I want to try to mince words or try to escape and, but I want to, if I can just communicate to, to your heart to heart and tell you how we got here and and it wasn't just like we had a million dollars sitting there and we decided to go crazy with it so how this whole thing started is the lord told us uh in 21 to walk away from our marketing company and we have had a lot of success raising millions of dollars for different clients and he said i'm going to do a new thing one sec fucking ethernet cable got knocked out the back of the computer by the uh by the cat so my internet might turn off in a second and then pause this video and then he took us into this cryptocurrency it was a different cr cryptocurrency other than index coin at the time well that cryptocurrency turned out to be a scam to basically put it the, the best way i can describe it and i said lord i said you told me to do this now there's people involved in this what do you want me to do and the Lord said, I want you to build this the way that it should be done. And so that original cryptocurrency was already overvalued by four times. And so the people who bought this... They Do I have to refresh this? Cryptocurrency was already overvalued by four times. And so the people... I'm going to have to refresh the video, unfortunately. ...is to want me to do. And the Lord said, I want you to build this the way that it should be done. And so that original cryptocurrency was... So since he might be a little bit disjointed since the internet disconnect, what happened was, according to him and Jesus, of course, let's not forget uh, the, you know, the star witness here. Um, he convinced a bunch of people to invest in a cryptocurrency with him. That crypto turned out to be a scam. And then the Lord told him, you've got to make your own cryptocurrency now and, you know, and do it properly, do it the way, you know, it should be done. And then he made a cryptocurrency and scammed people himself so we so basically what he's saying is he saw he, he got scammed and then he thought fuck it i'm gonna scam myself basically uh, and then say that the lord told him to do it already overvalued by four times and so the people who bought this they were already basically forexed leveraged on this and so the lord says give that to them but also give them a 10x so if someone bought a thousand dollars worth of um index coin we were basically give them the index amount of ten thousand dollars so a 10x on top of it and i'm like well where's this liquidity going to come from and the lord says trust me so that's fine so <laughs> yeah this is proper financial advice this is this is exactly what happens if you want to get into stocks and cryptocurrency and you know make money in general 
what you do is you make a business and when somebody says you know what's the business plan how are we going to get this money you, you said you're going to give everyone 10 times their money uh how and you go well the lord said trust me and they go i'm in you know fantastic business plan i can see you've really put some thought into it your heart your mind everything's gone into this one um definitely definitely a solid investment so we keep moving along god keeps confirming god keeps showing up god keeps opening doors we're not even marketing this thing people are telling people that are telling people and it just comes in and a lot of you were there from the very beginning and you'll be able to relate to this well as money is coming in uh we would be sowing it and at first it was hundreds of dollars and thousands of dollars then tens of thousands of dollars and we have records to prove all this and then as we're sowing all this money and paying for developers and everything else um we run out of money and we got $300 to our name. And the Lord appears to me in a dream and he says, I want you to sow $100,000. And I said, I'll do it, but I don't have it. And then the next, that night, uh, there's a gentleman that actually came in for 100,000. The next day he changed his mind and came in for 200,000. And so we sowed 100,000 of that. And then from that point forward, things really started escalating. And we- I might be naive here and stupid. Please inform me if I am. But I've never, I, I never hear people use the term sowing when it comes to finance. I, I don't hear people say we're sowing this money. Uh, maybe I, I'm just, you know, not in tune with how people speak on finance. I've just never heard that term. You'll have to let me know in the comments if I'm, if I'm a, a fucking moron, which is, you know, potentially. Actually, no, it, it's definitely true. Um, but I, I've never heard that. We just continued to sow heavy amounts. Well, when we launched the exchange, uh, we launched, I believe we did a um, $100,000 seed uh, into one ministry and another $25,000 Bitcoin seed into another and trusting that the Lord was going to do this. And it, up until this point, um, we had been sowing hundreds of thousands of dollars in U.S. dollars. We'd been giving people a multiple of 10 on anything they came in for. The Lord also told us to sow in He's describing a Ponzi scheme right now. I want you to be aware ignore the word sewing he's he's describing a ponzi scheme it, literally he, he's he that's exactly what he's saying he might as well be saying we were robbing peter to pay paul like he might as well say that sentence he's saying that anyone who put money in they were just then giving them 10x how if, if your product makes no money and you were giving people 10x their money that money can only come from people who come in later which then means they can't get 10x of their money because the money's not there unless somebody else brings it in because it, their money already paid for people before them you are literally describing a ponzi scheme man you're I, why is this guy not going to jail i don't understand why, why is this only a civil matter if he's that fucking stupid that he's going to describe a ponzi scheme on on video and admit to doing it and admit to the only element that would be missing other than the explanation of it is funds being used from people's money personally you this is a ponzi scheme like man it just goes to show that anyone can become a millionaire even if you you are an actual like certifiable moron um to the point where you're going to admit to doing this on a on fucking video because this guy made 1.3 million dollars he could have you know he could have took the rest but obviously he was too busy ponzi in uh, giving the money to the other people to make them believe you can just put money in and and get 10x your money because investing is just that easy guys investing so easy that you just put you know ten dollars in and somebody just goes oh congratulations ten dollars here's a hundred that's just real life apparently the fact that anyone believes shit like this it it's really sad because obviously he's preying on people's faith which you might be aware or, or not aware and this is not massively relevant i'm not a particularly faithful person i i don't care about religion personally i don't care if you do a lot of people get that twisted um but I, I, it's just not something that i'm personally into if you are cool that's fantastic i'm i'm, I'm sure that works for you and I, I know for a fact that religion helps a lot of people with life that's great it's just not for me um, but I obviously am going to make jokes and whatever else, but at the same time, I do feel bad for people who have this thing that is so core to their values and their beliefs and, and their whole life used against them of like, oh, we both believe in Jesus and, and the Lord and Christianity and blah, blah, blah. And because of that, I'm going to 
take money from you. And I'm going to say it's because the Lord is speaking through me. And how could you deny the Lord, you know, and, and the Lord, the Lord's told me to scam you with cryptocurrency. Like, man, it's just fucking, it's just really sad. Uh, this guy is a, a fucking ghoul. Into the families of index coins. So if anybody came in for a dollar or more, uh, we automatically sewed 10,000 coins into them. And on top of that, we sewed an additional huge amount of coins into various ministries. It was all in all, you guys, we're looking at about $300 million worth of coins that were sewn before the exchange went live. So I just want to give you like a, a snapshot. Uh, this doesn't even make sense. 300... Bro, that's not how money works. You don't just create something and say this is worth $300 million. That's... It's worth what the fucking market will pay for it. Man, th this guy is stupid. Holy shit. That of where we were at. I'm going to have to cut that out of the video. Why the fuck was that so loud? Um, so this is what they said, uh, Colorado Securities and Exchange Commission. They said, we alleged that he took advantage of the trust and faith of his co own Christian community and that he peddled outlandish promises of wealth to them when he sold them essentially worthless cryptocurrencies, uh, said Commissioner Chan. New coins and exchanges are easy to create with open source code. And we want to remind consumers to be very skeptical. All true. I'm just confused as to why this guy's not, not being criminally charged for this. He, he is admitted to committing fraud. And if you can sue him civilly for fraud, obviously the, the burden of evidence and, and the burden of proof and things like that are way higher in criminal court. But this motherfucker is admitting it on camera. I don't think he hit his tracks so well that you wouldn't be able to get him on this. Uh, so apparently from what I read earlier as well, this is not just him. It was like a family scam. It was him, his dad, his brother, his wife, like they were all in on this uh, and they were all, you know, uh, winning from, from basically defrauding a, a bunch of religious people that should have been, you know, people they cared about if what they say is true and they're, you know, religious people. And obviously, if you say you're religious and these people are, you know, part of your community, how how can you reconcile then defrauding those people? You're, you're, you're a fraud in every way, every conceivable way at that point, uh, a fraud to your religion and a fraud to your community yourself and even legally a fraud. But, you know, there we go. Um, interesting video. That guy's, I'd say, you you know, you've, you've snitched on yourself, you go into prison, but apparently... Apparently not. Apparently he's just going to get civilly sued, lose all the money, and everyone else, you know, if there's no money left, everyone else is going to have lost. And that guy might have to pay a bunch back over time. But, but you know, I think if you're doing stuff like this, there should probably be uh, more severe punishments, to be honest. But but what do I know? Either way, uh, thanks for watching as always. If you want to support me, you can leave a like, you can leave a comment, you can join my Discord server maybe. You can buy Gamer Subs. You know, you can buy this. It's in the link in the video description. You drink it, it's an energy drink or not an energy drink, just a, a just a cool keto friendly, um, you know, flavored water powder, basically. Uh, they sell a bunch of other stuff. They're selling merch. There's a new merch drop coming up. So you can buy sweats. You can buy a cool GameSup Season 5 hoodie. A hat. I'm definitely getting this hat, by the way. I'm not sure if I'll wear it in public, but, you know, there's even weeb trays, which, you know, if you're a fan of the herb, um, you can use one of those. There's a massive mouse mat. I've got one of those. They're actually really cool. A gamer bag. I actually should have got one of these because it's always awkward walking around in Thailand because uh, it's mad hot. You don't have a bunch of stuff in your pockets. You're wearing shorts, usually without a zip on. I should have got one of these. It, it probably would have been a big hit. But I did get the sweats and the hat and the, and the mouse pad. So there. But yeah, there's a link in the video description. Click it. You get a discount. I think it's like 10, 15, 20%. It's, some, it's something like that. And I get a kickback of whatever you buy. So win-win. Uh, thanks for watching as always. And I'll see you next time. If you're into Magic the Gathering, I have a new channel. Magic the Gathering channel, uh, Kira Magic or Kira MTG, something like that. Uh, you can go check that out. It's in the Discord and it'll be opening packs. The first video up right now, I bought a bunch of cards from some random person on Thailand Facebook and it went, you know, it went. I'm not going to spoil it, but if you're into Magic and opening and stuff, I've got a, I've got a box of Commander Masters here that I'm going to probably open later uh, and post a video on that in the next couple of days. But yeah, there'll be content on there, deck text, things like that if, you, if you're into Commander. But yeah, thanks for watching as always, and I'll see you next time. Peace.